What's up, fuck faces? It's me, Curtis, aka King of the Tapirs, aka Belt Different. Woo, baby, aka Chubby Rain himself in the fucking flesh. And I'm here with uh, this yellow guy here. Hey, I'm the yellow guy. And today we're doing some very special guys. You guys are probably not prepared for this. Not at all. They're not prepared. They're not ready. <laughs> Thinking you're prepared. <laughs> not even close. Not even this much. Nope. No! Whoa. <laughs> I felt like yelling as well, okay, man? You were yelling so much and I got a little excited. Fair enough, fair enough. I bring the excitement. What can I say? Yeah, but the excitement today is for coming to America with more Eddie Murphy. <sighs> yes. I thought I saw this movie, but then when I looked into it, I was like, oh shit, I got it mixed up with something else. Oh, really? Yep. What did you get it mixed up with? I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad. Okay, Like, okay. as soon as I looked at it, I was like, oh, shit, I'm such a dumb. Anyways, on that note, guys, it was the most voted for on the Patreon. Let's go look on the Patreon right now. They're the first comment we could find on the poll. Look at that. Jerome Martin coming to America as a classic, and we're going to experience it soon. Thank you, Jerome, for telling us this. Very good news. I laugh at the first movie chosen. The guy's just like, yeah, this movie's shit. <laughs> Wait, What? <laughs> Really? That, no, wouldn't that be funny? Oh, dude, I would love that, actually. That'd like, be really funny. Oh, uh, this movie one? It's so shit. <laughs> it's overrated garbage. <laughs> and also, we got someone else to shout out. Let me go find their name. Yeah, it was just quickly. some guy that hit us up on the Instagram recently, the two of us. And it was funny that he was like, oh, you guys should do Coming to America. It won the poll, so uh, shout out to Michael Jeremy Smith on Instagram. You know who you are, buddy. We love you. We see you, man. You're a great, cool fucking guy. I'll tell you that much. We see you. But yeah, guys, on that note, I think we're just going to hop into the movie. Yeah. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little yellow today. Um, not so yellow today. All right, Curtis, jump into the camera, do something. Scare them. Scare them? Make them go crazy. Go wild. Ooh, go crazy? Go wild? Yeah. Ooh, whoo, they're never going to see this coming. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! What's up? Those are some small chairs. Who the hell sits on those? Entire orchestra? Cool. He's the conductor? You wake up like this? Happy birthday, your highness. Happy birthday! It's the big day. Oh, he can only walk on the pedals? I guess so. Oh, it is my 21st birthday. Do you think perhaps just once I might use the bathroom by myself? Most amusing, sir. Wipers! He's got wipers? Professional wipers? A Does gold toothbrush? Wow, he does nothing himself. Help him gargle? <laughs> I hope to God they don't help him chew his food either. My God. What a commanding clap. <laughs> oh my God. Well, how do you talk? He can barely see them. Is something troubling you, my son? No, father. Son, please. I am more than the exalted ruler of this land and the master of all I survey. I'm also a concerned dad. He's coming down here to talk to us. <laughs> the rose petals. What is the matter, dear? You are the son of a king. Why should you not walk on the petals of rose? Oh, but mother, if there were no rose petals, I would still be the son of a king. Anyone who throws roses at my son's feet will answer to me. What? Why can't I find my own wife? Aha! So that's it. We've he gone to a great deal of trouble yeah, to select for you a shit. very fine wife. Since the day she was born, she was taught to walk and speak and think as a queen. Sounds boring. Yeah, that sounds kind of lame. I was so nervous, I became nauseous. But over the years, I have grown to love your father very much. So, you see, my son, there is a very fine line between love and nausea. 
I understand. <laughs> That's the correlation. <laughs> you look especially radiant today, Your Grace. Is that so, Semi? Semi, do you not have somewhere you should go? They don't like him. Yes. I was just about to take the birthday boy for his daily workout. Excuse me, Father. Okay, to the workout we go. <laughs> oh, oh, damn! Now let's see if you can defend yourself. You sweat from a baboon's balls. <laughs> what? Whoa, dude, this kind of reminds me of Neo and Morpheus for some reason. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. So you say you can have a woman who will obey your every command. You truly love your wife. You will value her opinion. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, good one. Hippopotamus shit. You're the heir to the throne <laughs> of Zamunda. Your wife need only have a pretty face, a firm backside, and big breasts like cassava melon. Okay. Okay. That's a bit excessive. Whoa! So you would share your bed and your fortune with a beautiful fool. That is the way it has always been with men of power. It is tradition. It's also tradition that times must and always do change, my friend. Very true. What I want to know is how is he so, um, like, how does he have this mentality when he seems to have not grown up with anybody who has the same kind of, like, values he does? Well, I don't know, man. He just, he's built different. So is he going to meet his wife now or something? I, yeah, I assume he's going to meet her at this party thing. Excuse me, out of the way! Oh. Oh. Greetings, great prince. Presenting Miss Amani Azee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he was so scared. Ooh, we got drums. Okay. Holy shit, the dress though. Wow. What? What can't this fucker do? He should be Prince for fuck's sake. <laughs> May I talk to you alone for a moment, please? Excuse us. For a moment. Now it's time to figure out if she, well, if he actually likes her, right? Yeah, pretty much. Oh my god, that thing's so fucking long. Whoa! Man, that guy's salute is really strong. Look, I know what I like. And I know you know what I like because you were trained to know what I like. But I would like to know what you like. For instance, do you have a favorite food? Yes. Good! What is your favorite food? Whatever food you like. Ah, come on. This is impossible. Listen, from this moment on, I command you not to obey me. Bark like a dog. Arf, 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 arf. A big arf. dog. Woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> I see the two of you are getting along. Oh no. Excuse me, Manny, for a moment. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man, poor girl. Let's go for a stroll. Ooh, a zebra, nice. Little elephants, they're so cute. Hello, Baba. I have yet to experience what the outside world has to offer. Ah, so you want to sow your royal oats? No, it's not that. It's You're right. Get out, see the world, enjoy yourself, fulfill every erotic desire, and in 40 days... What's with this you guy and and erotic him. desires all the time? Like, holy Father, shit! It is settled. Prepare the royal baggage. My son is going on a trip. Prepare the royal baggage! I like how he tells him to tell people to do the thing. This trip is an excellent idea. In 40 days of fornication. Simi. <laughs> Fuck, dude. What's I have with something these guys? else in mind. Tell no one of this. I want a woman that's going to arouse my intellect as well as my loins. Mm. Where do you find such a woman? In America. 
Mm. It's New York, Tails, Los Angeles. Oh. Cool. All right. Fuck well, I've been there. Queens. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dude. That's actually clever. But, my God. Whoa! Yo, how much luggage do you need? Did he bring his whole palace with him? Like, holy fuck. Oh! You dumb fuck! <laughs> <laughs> We're not rich. We're ordinary African students. Whatever you say, sure. pal. <laughs> what part of Queens you want? Take us to the most common part. There's one thing Queens has got a lot of. It's common parts. What does dumb fuck mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Real fight. Americans. Pound for pound, Sugar Ray Robinson, the greatest fighter ever lived. Oh, come on, man. What about Joe Lewis? The Brown Bomber. Now that was a great... Is that Cuba Gooding? It is Cuba Gooding, man. Oh, my God. What's <laughs> still going on about it? Okay, now what the fuck do you want? You desire a room. <laughs> Come on in, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, no. Oh, no, they lost all their shit. Oh. <laughs> hey, Stu, your rent's due, motherfucker. And don't be pulling that falling down the stairs <laughs> shit on me, you hear? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, man, okay, you know what? I got to respect Stu for trying, dude. Now, this is the place that I was telling you about. Oh. It's a murder scene. A blind man and a dog? A rat. Hey, they get a free pet rat, though. That's yeah. pretty cool. That is a positive. Good morning, my neighbors! Hey, fuck you! <laughs> yes! Fuck you, too! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's an American greeting. Fuck I you. I just love how endearing he sounded when he said that. We're in New York now. Let us dress as New Yorkers. Whoa! Oh my Dude. god. It's just the buttons. <laughs> Why the so buttons? So many buttons and pins. Holy fuck! Wow! Yo, I'd buy soap, though, honestly. Man. You must be out of your goddamn mind. Joe Lewis, the greatest boxer ever lived. I'll be with you boys in a minute. He was bad at Chad Clay. He bad at Sugar Ray. Going. He bad at now. Who that you, the new boy? Got? Mike, Mike Tyson looked like a bulldog. He bad at him too. He <laughs> whipped Mike Tyson's ass. He whipped all their asses. <laughs> what about Rocky Marciano? Oh, there it go. He bit Joe Lewis's <laughs> ass. That's right. He did whoop your Lewis ass. Joe oh, Lewis was 75 years old when he fought. I don't know how old he was, but he got an ass whip. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> and fuck you. Who's next? Dude, I've heard the word fuck you so many times. Well, the phrase. I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. God damn, boy, what's that? Some kind of weave or something? It is my natural hair. I have been growing it since birth. Tell me how you want me to cut this. Just make it nice and neat. That'll be $8. <laughs> oh, no. Worship the devil. Oh, sick. What a great way to introduce yourself. Good conversation starter. Yeah, well, you know, baby, I'm almost single. My husband's on death row. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. And I want to tear you apart. <laughs> 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 
And your friend, too. Or does every woman in New York have a severe emotional problem? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. I want you to put your hands together and welcome him to the stage. Big round of applause for Jackson Heights' own Mr. Randy Watson. Yes! All right, Randy, Randy Watson. Watson. Where is he? All right, Randy oh, Watson. Good. It feels so lovely to be here tonight. What a beautiful art. Give yourselves a round of applause. You're so lovely. Everyone's so lovely. And um, while you're in the clapping mood, I'd like to give a big round of applause to my band, Sexual Chocolate. <laughs> Sexual Chocolate? Nice. Nice name. Love me. Looks like he got some of that Soul Glow. The, the entire thing is sponsored by Soul Glow. Do you look at the banner at the top? No way. It is, it is. Oh, oh, go. oh my oh! god! God damn it. That was awful. You must be crazy. He good. You must be crazy. Girl, you look so good, somebody ought to put you on a plate and sock you up with a biscuit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so weird. You know, Black Awareness Week is an opportunity for self-expression. May we and leave just now? Just moments ago, no, Randy attempted to express himself through song in his own unique way but yeah, that's a nice song way to put it makes a good point the children are our future we're happy to get the kind of money that jingles but we'd rather get the kind that folds Ooh. donations what? Donation. I thought it was the trash. Don't be hitting on me. Some money. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Oh my god, he put the whole wad. I would. Okay. The whole wad. The whole she wad. is wonderful. A kid. Shh. At McDonald's restaurant, 8507 Queens Boulevard. Are you heard? Then. Oh, they got jobs. I want you to wash yep. all the windows. Real good, too. And don't leave no streaks. What are you doing? Get the hell out of here before I bust that camera. God damn. Well, why is he taking pictures of a restaurant? They use a sesame seed bun. Oh, bun shit. No seeds. <laughs> I got it. Jesus Christ. That is scary looking. I love Garfield. Nice. When you think of garbage, think of Akeem. <laughs> That's such a bad catchphrase. Well, um... Shit. <laughs> I have to get back to my sanitation duties. Maybe we'll have a chance again to talk on a professional level. He tried. He did his best. Yeah, he, he really did his best. Probably not the... Soul Glow again? Let your soul glow. There it is. Ooh. Bam, 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 bam. He's hitting it. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> that smirk. He knows he looks good. The other day at the rally, somebody stuffed a large amount of cash into one of the collection boxes. He's gonna take credit. You know me. <laughs> Anything for the kids. Uh, oh. oh, that ain't it, dude. That is not it. Oh, before I forget, I got us four tickets to the St. John's game. Maybe your sister wanna bring somebody. Great. Hey, uh, take care of this for me, will ya? Hey, <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. dude. You learned the word. That's what you say. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you right there. Delivery for Miss Lisa McDowell. I'll take it. I'm your sister. What is this? Dude, those are like extra shiny. God damn. Yeah, I would never like putting those on, man. No. Tell her you sent her the five hundred thousand dollar pair of earrings, then she will fall into your arms. Five hundred thousand dollars? God forsaken. With place. inflation? Can do that? We'll do something. Do not worry. Holy shit! Disgusting. 
We got an extra ticket for the St. John's game tomorrow. Wanna come? Yes. Oh, yeah. Good. You can double date with me and Daryl. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh, your sister's nice. Come on. Oh, whoa! Oh, my God! Whoa! Oh! Wearing clothes must be a new experience for you. Are you. Yo, Daryl! Wow. Oh, yes! <laughs> Shit! I'm following the game quite well. You know, personally, I don't like any sport where you don't use your hands. But, I mean, she's proficient with that. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> what are you doing? It's just a halftime. My God. Daryl's a dick, my God. Yeah, chase the monkey. Well, how clever. Greetings, your highness. Greetings. Please, please stop bowing, please. I am a loyal citizen of Zamunda. Yes, but you're oh, shit. Oh. I will cherish this experience for the rest of my life. Oh my god. This is so awkward. The rest of my life. <laughs> Holy shit. Just the man I met in the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the best way to explain that. Oh my god. So did you have a good time at the game? Yes, I did. Thank you. I hope Daryl didn't offend you. Sometimes he can be pretty obnoxious. <laughs> well, he cannot help it. Sit down, take a break for a minute. Oh, thank you, you sure can't. Nope. Natural uh, asshole. You know, you're a very unusual guy. I've never seen anybody take so much pride in mopping a floor. No. Oh my god! Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, everybody shut up! Do what I say. Jackson. Get the money out! Stay cool! Nobody gets hurt! Don't stall me, fat boy! Let's go! Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on! Anybody move, I'll blow your fucking head off. <laughs> Come on! Oh. Don't stall me! Oh. oh! The boast. He knows. Come on. It would be wise for you to put the weapon down. Who the fuck is this asshole? <laughs> oh my god. You refrain from using any further obscenities in the presence of these people. Oh. Freeze, you diseased rhinoceros pizzle. Oh, diseased rhinoceros pizzle? Leave Sunday night open. I'm having a little get together at my house. Oh. Hey. You see, it is working. He has accepted us as equals. Okay, fellas. Oh, my <laughs> God. God. Take the keys, park the cars down the street. When you get finished, come inside and help out in the kitchen. Akeem? I want you to come with me. I want to show you the inside of McDowell's little castle. Hey. Dude, I feel so bad for Sammy, dude. It's just like, it's not going his way. Nah. Especially with women. But they all want a man to take charge. Tell them what to do. Uh, uh, that ain't it. Daryl. Yeah, that ain't it, Daryl. I don't think that's the way to do it, my friend. No, that, that's not it. We're about to make a very special announcement. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! No! Please, God, no. It's not what I think it is. It is. Oh, no. Well, I'm pleased to announce that just a few moments ago, Daryl here popped the big question. What? And Lisa happily accepted. <laughs> so, as it turns out, this has become an engagement party. He didn't even right? ask her. <laughs> oh, fuck. Why would you Bro. do that? If you do that to any woman, you're getting yourself kicked, like, beat the shit out of, man. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh. Next time you and my father decide to get together to plan my life, I wish you'd let me in on it. It's not like... Don't touch me. But, baby, it's our engagement party. Oh, fuck off, Daryl. You're such a creep. What a dumbass, dude. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm just not going to be pressured into marriage. Not by Daryl, or my father, or anybody. Hmm. I understand completely. In my country, they arrange many marriages, and I don't feel anyone should get married out of obligation. You're right. I mean, how could I have even considered marrying a guy like Daryl? 
Hey, Akeem, we need some more champagne over here. Get your own champagne. Fuck off. She wants more than champagne, man. You must be tired of hearing about my problems with Daryl. Oh, no, not at all. You know, I, I feel like I owe you a favor. Why don't you come to my house and I'll fix you dinner? Patrice Ooh. will be there. Oh. <laughs> Let us go to my house. Well, I'd like to cook for you. You cook? I dabble a little, yes. Oh. Does he actually? Does he? Welcome to my humble abode. Don't tell me he decked it out. This is two, one, two. A key! <laughs> He's got a hot tub! What's wrong? Uh, nothing's wrong. <laughs> Everything's fine. Excuse me for a moment, please. Oh my god. Can we go in now? Oh, no, we cannot. Why not? There's a rat. I think you're just so ashamed of your apartment, you can't even let me see it. Once again, you have judged correctly. If it bothers you that much, we can go out to eat. That would be much better. After all those groceries, too. Damn. You know, he's got groceries for the week. And a hot tub. Of course I had a hot tub. It's for a week. <laughs> <laughs> sure do. Excuse me for a moment, please. Randolph, leave me alone, Mortimer. Randolph, Randolph! It's the Dukes! What? No fucking way! Oh my god. Mortimer, we're back. Holy shit! Yo, that's actually so cool. Back home, I was... I, I was in the family business back home. Oh, that's a great cover. What's that? Uh, goat herding. <laughs> Go yes, herding. yes. Really? Yes. Does it surprise you? You seem so educated. Well, the life of a goat herder is not that demanding. Goats pretty much take care of themselves, which leaves a man with a great deal of time to read. What about Patrice? Adios, Patrice. Who? I am not interested in Patrice. Oh. Oh. What about Daryl? He's not interested in Daryl either. I am not interested in Daryl either. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Prince. Read it to me. Sire, Akeem and I have depleted our funds. Kindly send 300,000 American dollars immediately as we are in dire straits. Your humble servant, Semi. Simi. Semi. Semi. As long as you ask him, why don't we go for a cool million? You do not think that would be too much? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> Don't tell me he claimed to be a prince. I think so. You must not tell a soul. Your secret is safe with me, your highness. Oh, damn. Dang. Even in the... Oh, my God. This guy. He's extra. Whoa. Oh, they're gonna find the, the, the guy in there. Oh, shit. You may enter. What is this? A photograph. What is this? McDowell's. It's a place over on Queens Boulevard. I think he works there. He moved downstairs. Apartment 1A. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What a reaction. Yeah, well, look, Sarah, <laughs> oh, by the house. Yo, today? I want one of those. Yeah, about nine o'clock. Lisa will be home by then. Yeah, look, don't worry about it, buddy. We'll work something out. Okay. Uh, See you later. Come on. Uh, That's creepy. But I love the phone. I love it. It's great. This is King Joffe Joffe, ruler of Zamunda. He is searching for his son, Akeem. Uh, 
Are you serious? Prince Akim is the sole heir to the throne of Zamunda. I always knew there was something special about that boy. Can you tell us where he might be? Oh, yes. He's out with my lovely daughter, Lisa. Oh, look who's here. Akim, it's good to see you. Oh, no, now you got time for one, Dre. Have a hey, seat. Hey, the dog. Get out of here, dog. <laughs> so you, know, you and I, we, we don't spend enough time talking. Well, perhaps oh, some other no. time, so I really have to get going. Oh, no, sit down. I'll be right back. Oh, oh no. shit. Hmm. The one thing he feared. Yeah, hello, King. Yeah, Cleo McDowell. Yeah, King, both the kids are here together. Right, 2432 Derby Avenue, Jamaica Estates. Uh, excuse me, I'll be right back. There's no way. That fast. Oh, he's so cute. Oh! <laughs> he literally just came back. <laughs> he tripped. <laughs> oh my god. I warned you, didn't I? Daddy, get him. No. Oh my god. Yeah, get his ass! Is something wrong, Akeem? I promise I will tell you when the time is right. But now I must go. Tell your father goodbye for me. Come in. Have a seat. Take a load off. Come on. You still ought to be back in a minute. Just break yeah, dance, man. Here, try the lazy boy. It's real comfortable. Lazy boy is pretty comfortable. Yeah, put your feet up. <laughs> Oh, he's got some hors d'oeuvres. He's got some hors d'oeuvres. This is Akeem's father. The king. Leave us. <laughs> Christ. Oh, no. Akeem came to America to uh, sow his royal oats. Ah, uh, no. Excuse me, I need to be alone for a moment. No. Are you comfortable? My name is Aeolion. 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 <laughs> I'm sick. Alien? Alien. <laughs> what did you tell her? It is of no consequence. We shall return to Zamunda at once. I will not leave without Lisa. So you do care for her. Then go after her. Hey. Mama knows what's up. Mom's a real one. Your royalty, for God's sake. You want me to renounce my throne? I will. From this moment on, I renounce my throne. I am no longer the Prince of Zimunda. I renounce my throne! Oh my God. <laughs> no one gives a shit. Just another fucking day on the Metro. Does this make you happy? I do not care about my crown. All I care about is you. Mm. Marry me, Lisa. Mm. A little soon for that, but okay. A bit, a bit quick, you know. So what do you think? Go on, honey. Take a chance. Look, I'm sorry, I can't. Goodbye, I can't. Oh, come on. If you're really a prince, I'll marry you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I only want our son to be happy. And so do I. Alien, please. It is out of our hands. The girl told him no. Well, after the way you treated her, who could blame her? Even if she said yes, they still could not marry. It is against the tradition. Who am I to change it? I thought you were the king. Ooh. Ooh. What a solid point. Damn, buddy. Well, he gets to, gets to marry the robot, at least. The robot? That's her, the robot. Wife 2.0. There we go. Oh, damn! Hey! Leo's there! We have not come to that part yet. And hey, man, he's just uh, speed running. <laughs> oh. If you like, we can give it all up now. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of nice. 
So we just finished watching Coming to America. And Curtis? Oh, dude, I really love this movie. My God, is it ever funny. That's a, I have to say it. The most surprising thing is just saying Mortimer and Randolph. Yeah. Th that that actually yeah, blew from, my fucking mind, from dude. From Trading Places, dude. Thank God we watched Trading Places first. Right? Oh, my God. You, you would be missing out so much. Honestly, that was such a nice, like, little like cameo or just something i don't know man i just thought that was amazing it was so funny that moment i really did expect that they really no. they implemented that so fucking well they really oh, did they just, those bastards just snuck it in right there but i i just think it was a good movie dude like, i really like the fact that um eddie murphy like played that kind of a different character instead of just like a because usually when you see Eddie Murphy in movies, he's just like kind of the wise cracking, like the same, like he's got that same kind of persona. True. This time he was like the charming, eloquent, very, very, uh... I missed his traditional laugh though. I, I oh, missed that. You know, you know what? I was actually waiting for the laugh. The yeah. whole time I was waiting for the, the pop the Eddie Murphy laugh. I was but, too. Uh, he didn't need it though. No, man. But like, I, I really like the messages in this movie though. You know? I think arranged marriages just sound horrible, dude. Imagine having to dedicate the rest of your life to someone you don't even fucking know that you like. That's just so awkward. Yeah, I wonder, like, do you have to force yourself to like them? Like, how does this even work? Or are you just forever, you're just, like, you're pretty much emotionally imprisoned, in a sense. You just learn to love them? Like, I, I, I don't really... know, dude. It's kind of, for me, uh, not my kind of thing. I, I could never do it. I don't like a lot of people. You know, it's going to be hard for me to, you know, love someone I don't even know. Totally agree on that. And I like the fact that it also shows, you know, how hard he worked just to, like, find someone who could just like him. Even though he had yeah. a shit job of working at McDowell's. Well, that, but he kind of wanted to learn how to be self-sufficient as well, right? Yeah. He was always talking about wanting to know how to cook. Yeah, he learned how to cook, clean. He was learning how yeah, to Yeah, he just... learned everything he wanted to learn. You know what? That's a great message in itself. Like, I find there's some people nowadays who are even around our age. I'm talking, like, mid, late 20s, and they can't even cook. Oh my god! Like, don't even get me started on that's that. That's just rough, man. Like, learn to cook, if anything. No, learn to cook and clean. These are essential skills of survival. If you can't do either of these things, you're fucked. You're fucked. You're... Especially cooking, man. You got to learn how to cook, man. No, dude, cleaning is equally as important. It's equally as important. Not as a survival skill, Curtis. It's not like cleaning is going to help me survive in the wilderness. Cooking helps in every aspect of survival. No, but I mean, if you're living in like a, you know. No, of course, of course. But like, cooking is just like, it's essential. That's it. I feel like everyone needs to know how to cook. No matter who you are, you have to know how to cook. And I, that just imagine having everything done for you like that. It's just like you're lo you're basically lower than a toddler. You don't do anything. Yeah. It's like it's really weird. Like nine out of the time, your shoes are wipe your own ass. Professional wipers, man. Yeah, I really like that. How Akeem was like so uh, headstrong to like be. It was the, the just thing to be able to like take care of himself, be his own man. Well, you know? it's the thing that he actually like he took the leap of faith that to just do it instead of just think about it. But I, I'm still like, even now, I'm still curious as to how he developed this mindset. You know, because nobody in that environment had a similar mindset. What kind of made him? have like a breakthrough it kind of comes down to the i think the terminology is people call it sometimes in the family there's the black sheep oh, it's yeah. the one person who strays off from the rest you know oh so he sees it his he entire thinks... life and he oh i think he, it's like he says there's so much more out in the world right so it's it's probably just like it's his own curiosity that gets the best of him but you know after having everything done for you you're pampered you know it gets boring after a while Has to and be. he probably just thought you know there's got to be more to life than just this you mm -hmm. know you can't marry a woman, like, you have no idea. I'm sure if she's attractive, nice, but, like, if you can't have, like, a fucking normal conversation with her, dude, it's gonna be horrible. It's gonna be a very boring marriage, that's all. Yeah, like, you have to find that connection on a, like, a literal mental wavelength. Yeah. You gotta find someone you connect with, someone that you actually enjoy being around. In fact, you it's know. more important than physical, like, ten times more. Well, 100%. You like, gotta, you gotta find someone that you could actually spend time with and not get fucking annoyed. Or bored. That's very important and actually quite rare as well. Like, that's a very, like, hard thing to find sometimes. Yeah. But, um, I like that. He he went out on his own and he, uh... And he didn't care about anything. He's like, oh, let them take our royal clothes, you know, the money. He's like, here, there. There's plenty of it at home, and who cares if they take it, That's right? That's the thing. He was looking for new experiences. And I think, again, a nice lesson to learn. Look for new experiences in life. Stop doing the same things over and over again. If you get too comfortable, 
you know, things get pretty mundane. Oh, not just that, but I think getting comfortable is dangerous. It is. anything. Like, comfortability is just like, I don't know. Life becomes, like, as you said, life just becomes boring if you're super, super comfortable. Always try new things. Always to try to get out of your comfort zone. I know it's easier said than done. You know, the comfort zone is very nice, but just get the fuck out of it. You know, you can't enjoy life if you're always in the comfort zone. No, you got to find something new to do. Yeah. You know, you miss out on so many opportunities, too. Yeah, if you think there's that hobby you've been wanting to try for a long time, you're just like, oh, you know, maybe I can't do it. It's not for me. Go fucking do it. That, it can even be the smallest things of, hey, I want to try a new restaurant that I've never been to before. You know, is the Go. food going to suck? Who fucking knows? If it does, oh, well, it was an experience. Yeah, or you see that really nice, cool-looking yellow hat. You're like, ah, man, I'm going to look a little foolish. Buy the yellow hat. Wear the yellow hat with pride. Yeah, man. You know, you got big-ass ears sticking out of the side of your fucking head. You might look like a bit of an asshole, but hey, you're rocking the hat and you're loving it. That's what matters. You know what? I'm a happy asshole. That's what matters, as long as you're a happy asshole. Yeah, so I don't know. Just a lot of messages you can get from this film that I really enjoyed. Samuel Jackson, that was just such a beautiful touch. Oh, God, man. <laughs> you do... I think there's just there's just a way Samuel L. Jackson has with calling people motherfuckers or uh, it's just the way he uses the word fuck, dude. I've never heard someone use the word fuck in such a like satisfying way. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's like music to my ears, man. It, mu speaking about music, yo, the soundtrack was bumping in this movie. Even the original music, this shit was so nice. Uh, especially uh, even in the, in the beginning when they had like the dancers going, like you know, mm, dancing with, with that drum and all. Like, oh, that, that rhythm was oh, fucking nice, oh, dude. I was Holy feeling shit. it, man. I was like, hey. hey. Phenomenal soundtrack. Also, it's like it's it's incredible because it was all done by Eddie Murphy. You know, it was written by him, it starred him, and stuff it's like a, that. It's actually very impressive. It was really good. Because this was a really good movie. And James Earl Jones for the King. Oh, that Dude, was perfect casting. I swear to God, man, his voice is absolutely fucking beautiful, man. I love it. He has the he has the voice of a king. You know, it's very commanding. He played Mufasa in Lion King as well. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I just love James Earl Jones a lot. I'm a big fan, you know, especially, you know, loving Star Wars. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, after the dark yeah. times. But, you know, I love Darth Vader and stuff, so... It, Darth it's Vader's just dope. Absolutely a, a true king in every ounce of the word. A huge fan. Yeah, but I think that we're gonna we're gonna bounce. We got our special guest Moogie. She's joining us for the end. Moogie joined us for the end. She uh, graced us with her presence. Look our, at her. She's very cute. The real queen. The queen. Look at her. Bow down to her. Feed her. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna head on out on that note. So, yeah. bye. Bye, guys. We love you. Oh shit! What's going on?